In this lesson, we're going to look at how to load data uh, from a web feed, a web service, uh, in, a, <clears throat> in a similar fashion to what we did before with XML. And this time, we're going to look at loading um, JSON data. So I have here an example of a web service that returns JSON. In this case, it returns a JSON array um, of uh, cities. So if I, for instance, use the word Plymouth, um, it returns all of the uh, cities in the United States that are named Plymouth. Okay, so let's, uh, uh, let's modify our code that we had before. Um, the, uh, the code that we had um, before was for retrieving data from an XML feed. I've already changed the, uh, the URL here to the JSON feed for city names, but I have not yet changed the code that was processing the, um, the XML. Um, and then I, I did make uh, another modification to the, uh, uh, to the detail in the list win um, code, uh, change it back to uh, just reading data from the array. Um, and uh, and then also opening up um, a uh, detail window that uh, displays just the same name of the city. So anyway, this is our, our basic table that uh, we've been working on, or we had worked on um, in previous uh, podcasts. Okay, so uh, what I need to do is change the way that the onload function works. So right now it's handling XML, so I'm going to remove uh, essentially this section of the code. And uh, what I'm going to do is add the piece that we need to be able to handle um, some JSON data. And it's really uh, uh, fairly uh, straightforward. Um, so uh, before we were looking at using, um, I'm going to create a, a variable called cities. Uh, and we were using the xhr.response XML. Uh, before now, I'm going to use response text, uh, which is the the data that um, we're going to be receiving from our feed, which is uh, just essentially um, text. So I need that, but then I need to do one more piece here. I need to take that string and I need to turn it into, uh, or I need to convert it into uh, into JSON. Um, uh, on the client side here. So I'm going to use the JSON library um, and just parse that data so that uh, the string gets turned into um, into JSON. Okay, and then uh, so that's it. that's pretty much it. The next thing I need to do is um, I need to write a loop that is going to uh, handle um, iterating through the entire array and we're going to just push that onto the um, this data array so and that's pretty much it so we've taken the response which is uh, which is essentially text we're going to convert it into um, into our local data structure and then we're going to iterate through it and then pass that to our table uh, for our table module for being loaded into a table. Okay, so uh, so let's run this. So just a moment here for the simulator to come up. So it's accessing the feed, and it's loaded in all of the cities. And I can just select one of those, and it displays that in um, our detail window. So anyway, that's uh, that's basically that's basically it. The uh, um, the big difference here is that uh, we're reading text, and then we're just going to parse it with um, JSON parser, and then we're going to load it into our our list. Um, so, anyway, um, again, uh, we're accessing a web service. Um, 
Um, in this case, it's, it's JSON data, but uh, the way that it gets handled is a, is a little simpler because we don't have to do anything with, uh, or at least uh, in this particular example, we're not doing anything with um, uh, having to look for specific nodes uh, within the XML. If our, if our JSON data was a little more complex, which we'll see in a later episode, uh, we would have to do a little more processing on it to get the data that we want. So anyway, that concludes this episode.